Well, it was, it was uh, something that we've been, uh, for the first month and a half of the season, we were running three A's. And, uh, you know, we, we decided on uh, the group and the organization, decided on uh, making Justin Dowling the captain and on our leadership group with Travis Moore and we're an assistant and Eric Conner, we're an assistant. And then we've got other guys like Taylor Fadoon, uh, Dylan Hetherington, Joel Hanley, a lot of guys that can wear A's or the C's if we need be. So it's a, it's a strong dressing room. So, you know, anybody could be wearing a C. But for me, it just it's a matter of if your leadership group is strong, it doesn't matter what you have on your jersey as long as you have that presence in the dressing room. But it's a, it says a lot about Justin Dowling, his game last year in the playoffs and his game this start of the season. Um, you know, he's kind of been the, the, the guy that drives the bus right now, and, and we felt that was the right decision. We didn't get a chance before the last game to talk about Taylor Fadoon, but he brings a little bit of le leadership on the back end, right? He does. I know Taylor a little bit from Edmonton when I was coaching the Oil Kings, and he was with the uh, Oilers, and he had that uh, horrible injury there where he got hit from behind the boards, and I got a chance to sit with him up in the press box a few times, so I knew who he was coming in, and uh, a great person, a great player, a uh, great uh, leadership guy in our dressing room, and, and what a, you couldn't ask for a better guy this time of year to come in and help us out. Uh, with the guys being called up with the injury the Reese Scarlet early in the season. So that's a great, great acquisition by the Stars, and uh, we may see him up in the Dallas Stars soon because they've got some injuries up top. How about Ben Gleason coming back as well? What, did, what do you take from him learning from his first two NHL games? Uh, you know, I, I watched him a little bit and just uh, had a chat with him this morning, and he was still excited, and he couldn't believe that he played in the NHL. And, you know, he asked him what's the difference of playing there, and he says the guys are never out of position, and uh, the guys are bigger and stronger, and, and smart kid. He, he got an insight in understanding, like, I've got to get stronger to play at this level consistently, and he definitely has the skill. It's just the maturity and the strength that will keep him there day to day. Now with Manitoba coming in today, they obviously played yesterday, so how can you try and take advantage of if they have any weak legs? Well, they played yesterday morning, and then, so they'll have a full day's rest here for tonight's game. Uh, they lost in uh, San Antonio, so we expect them to come out here with a bit of a, uh, you know, desperation in their game. Um, but for us, to just do the pre-scout on them, focus on the way we play, focus on the things that we do well. Uh, the one thing that's been clicking for us right now is the power play has been going pretty strong. I think we're second in the league. We've got to continue doing the little things right that uh, have allowed us to get that success. Uh, penalty, penalty kill has been good, knock on wood. But uh, the thing that we saw last week was a good team effort. We got some bodies back. You know, we got through Saturday or uh, Saturday's game. And then Sunday's game, we got Hetherington, we got Gary on off, we got Fadoon. It just changed the whole dynamics of our team. So we want to continue to focus on that. And, you know, we got back to 500. We're one game where we want to continue building that win, win record. Yeah, I mean, uh, we also picked up a new guy, Taylor Fadon. Um, he's a great, great guy to, to have on our team, an older guy. And, uh, I mean, yeah, we, we have a lot of guys moving up and down. Um, guys coming up from Boise and uh, I mean but at the same time we have six defensemen and everybody can play when when they're in the lineup and uh, uh, I've been very impressed with everyone and uh, everyone's playing with confidence everyone's playing with poise and uh, we've been doing so well so hopefully we can keep it coming. We talk about the power play a lot but as of late it's been absolutely rolling for this team is it just finding some opportunities where what's led to the success there? Yeah I mean you get guys like Dowling back Dowling and Morin have had a connection for I don't even know how long years and years uh, so when you see those guys out together Rupes down and he's helping us out a lot um, and I mean we're, we're finding connections we're, we're keeping it pretty simple we're shooting the puck uh, making good plays and uh, when you do that good things happen for a team being fresh coming in against an opponent who played yesterday uh, how do you try and take advantage of that early on yeah I mean you're in your home barn uh, I think we just got to play our game continue continue to do that we uh, we play a fast game and I think that's something that uh, it's hard to play against it helped us get get all the way to the to the end of the Calder last year and uh, I think if we do that we're gonna be all right tonight